Hi friends, welcome to the part 21 of this tutorial series. So in order to start working on the comment section, we first need to create the uh, single post route and display the single post page whenever we click on the read more button. So right now if I click on read more, it takes us to this uh, undefined route. Okay. So uh, let's do that quickly. I will go to my uh, default routes here. Uh, where, where it's the, okay, this is the revolve, default route. I'm going to create a new route uh, for the post ID, single post maybe. Okay, let's do that here. So router dot route single. Uh, let's say post. Then I want the ID and I'll get that from the, oh sorry, get that from the uh, parameters in the, in the URL, okay. It will be default controller dot, uh, what do you call, single post, okay. So let's quickly jump onto the default controller here. And now here I'm going to create a new route, single post, we'll have request response as usual and I'm going to fetch the ID from the request.params object and the ID is, the, is my parameter name. So I will use my post dot find one or let's say find by ID. Uh, function and this will return me a single post okay so if I'm I'm not getting a post if post is empty then just return a res status uh, 404 and a message no post found Okay. Else, what should it do? It should return the post and it will be a 200 with, uh, with the post. Okay. That's about it. And we we gonna okay actually you wanna render a single post page I don't have it yet I'll create a new partial here okay that will be my single post uh, a new layout under under default here okay there'll be new handlebars single post okay I, I'm gonna copy the code from uh, from the <coughs> uh, project files okay so you will have that in my github repository or I'll also share the Google Drive link just in case you're not able to download that from the Google, from the github repository okay so just give me a second let me quickly uh, open that single post page Okay, so I'm gonna copy it, paste it here, and I don't need the footer here. I don't need the header. Okay, so everything from this container I'm gonna remove. I will leave the row because the row ends here. Okay. This is the entire row, right? So if I save this, go back to my uh, what do you call it? route and render default slash single post 
single host like this and <clears throat> I'll pass this post object there okay post cool let's see if, they, if this works or not okay so I'm gonna refresh the page click this okay so I think I have to change the URL there so it says single post capital P okay and this is only post so if I go to my navigation uh, the post here next page change the URL refresh it click now okay it takes me here to the default template that I just copied okay but now we want to display our post here okay so instead of post title I'll say post title and by author let's say post on author if we have one I don't remember check the post model once uh, post model user we have the user okay we'll use it later let's keep it as admin for the time being so date leave it as it is source will be post dot file uh, I'm gonna go to my database and image yeah so it's in this file property okay in this paragraph I'm gonna type post dot description title description okay and here posted on post dot creation date let's see that this works remove this block code I don't need it and then we have the comment section okay so I'm gonna remove all the comments as of now this div it ends here okay there are two comments I believe yeah one two I'm going to remove this, save it, refresh. Okay, we have one comment here. So this is our uh, single post page. Uh, go back to the home page, click on the third post, it gives you the post title, post body, the creation date, and this is 37, 18 Chan. Check the database. It's 18 Jan 337. Okay, nice. And this, of course, does not work at this moment. Okay, but our single post page is working and we are getting the images as well. Just perfectly fine. Okay. And the reason why you're not seeing the images here is because the third post, if you see, the file, there is no file section. Okay. So you have to make sure that every image that is being shown is stored in this file property. All right. So in the next section, we'll work on the admin backend and we'll start working on the comment section. This will create a new new uh, menu here for comments and we'll create the backend for that. Okay. So till then, stay tuned and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.